Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Donna from Donna Gills Designs and in today's video I am going to continue my freshie series for you guys and show you how I make my freshie hangers. These are super simple to make and it makes it a lot easier when I have freshies in my car that I can just easily switch out my freshies when I have the hanger in my car. Everything I use in today's video guys will be of course linked down in the description below along with the links to my social media in case you want to follow me there. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said these are really simple to make. I have already measured out and I have painters tape at the edge of my counter here. This way I don't have to bring out my ruler every time I make a batch of freshies freshy hangers so i'm just showing you here how i measured out and that's why the tape is on my table i typically like to measure my now at about 10 inches or so um, i've seen some people make them 14 and 16 inches it just depends on your preference and how far down you want your freshies to hang so i'm going to start by um threading that cord through my lobster lobster clasp and threading it through the loop of my cord and then I have found this wire I had in my shop I don't know why I had it what I used it for but anyhow it worked perfectly for this to help me get the beads through my cord this bead is a two millimeter cord I've tried the one millimeter and I did not like it it was way too thin so I just need a, something to help me thread the beads through this cord. I got these cute little Halloween um, scary movie kind of focal cords, um, not focal cords, focal beads on Amazon. Um, I thought they were super cute, you know, since fall was coming up. So I made a bunch, I made, you know, several of these. So, and then I have this organizer box kind of thingy that has all my different beads in. I don't can't tell you where I got the beads because I've collected them over the years. Some I got on Amazon, some I got on Etsy. You can pretty much find them a lot of places these days. So I usually will put, put one circular bead on, then a focal bead, and then another circular bead. Now you don't have to use three beads if you don't want to. It just depends on your preference. My smaller freshies like my cardstock freshies i usually will only put one circular bead on so it again it just depends on your preference so what i'll do is i'll wrap that wire around both ends of my cord and then i will use that to thread through my bead <clears throat> to get the beads on my cord and it was a little hard for me to pull that wire so what i did was i just used a pair of my pliers and i yanked that wire up and it threaded that cord through no problem easy peasy guys anybody could do this and it only really takes a few minutes to make these freshy hangers i think i did i don't know maybe five or six of them in about 10 minutes 15 minutes something like that it just it's super fast guys no big deal so on the end of my cord how i like to do mine is i like to put breakaway beads on mine and if you don't know what breakaway beads are they simply snap together and they simply snap apart so i felt that was the easiest way um, to hang my freshie hangers in the rear of your mirror once i get those beads on they may fry a little bit so i'll just snip that off real quick and the breakup beads on the ends of them, one will kind of be like a flat surface and the other will kind of be like a, I don't know, like a ridgy surface. I don't know if that's the right word I'm looking for. Um, and that's how they snap on and off. So make sure you get one of each and not like two straight edged ones because they won't go together that way. So I usually will tie a double knot and I'm going to try to pull that knot just about to the end of my cord. And then if there is any, um, string le left over after the knot I will just simply trim that off and then pull that breakaway bead over that knot and that's what will hold it on there so once I get both sides done um, then it's ready your freshie is done guys so you'll just like I said snap those beads together and then you can snap them off. Now the two millimeter cord um, is still a little stretchy. I tried the nylon cord. I did not like it whatsoever, um, but you can use that. And then when I first started making freshies, I was using the one millimeter cord. And that I found was 
very it was just too stretchy so the heavier um freshies would really dip down pretty far so i just did not like it and like i said it was super super thin so but like i said again it depends on your preference you know what works for me and what i like for my freshie hangers might not work for you so you just kind of have to play play around with it and um see what you like really so here i'm just going to show you like i give it a good tug before i snap them together and um easily just snap on giving a good tug and then to take it apart you just pull it apart super easy so these are some of the ones i did and i just wanted to show you because I did one of each of the focal beads that came in that pack. Um, there was a couple I didn't use um, yet, but um, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what was included in that pack that I got on Amazon. I'll put that link down in the description below for you guys. So if you love Halloween, this would definitely be a good pack for you. I definitely will be making more freshy hangers um, to add to my website. These will be available on my website as well. Um, <clears throat> I think I will make some Christmas ones as well. So this is a freshie I had made and I just wanted to show you guys how easily it is to hang on the, on the freshie hanger and then take it off whenever you're done with it. So again, I'm just showing you how easy it is to snap on and off that breakaway bead. And I want to show you what it looked like hanging from the rear mirror. And then these are the ones that I just showed you. So thank you for watching today's video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Have a fabulous day.